In 2017, workers who came together to express their grievances with a local company, Wuto Trading, are lamenting the injustices that they've endured since they were dismissed. Marcus Severina says it all started when the company imposed a 45-hour working week for the employees in contravention of labor laws and approached the Ministry of Labor. I used to work at Vuto Trading Company as a field marketer and jack of all trades. So my dismissal at Vuto Trading, we were attending at Labor Court on the 28th of September 20. 17. So we attended the court because of three main things. The three main things was discrimination, this bit of screen discrimination, the unfair practices, and dispute of interest. That's what we were attended to. Why do we have to, we could not come to a conclusion at the company itself and we hand in the case to the Ministry of Labor at the Labor Court in Kumasdaro. And this all, what we had actually did is, this unfair practices had been a long system, and even the discrimination. So we were discriminated the whole time. How? You go to the toilet. Example, you go to the toilet. You have been told you are just roaming around. You are just on lunchtime. You are just sitting around in the premises. Or either you are at work. They will go and look at you because they are merchandisers, they are reps. They, they also, some of us who are at the warehouse. You listen to this old thing that you have been discriminated. How? Why do you have to discriminate me? Because of the skin? Or because of I don't have anything or I'm not working? or I'm not, a, I'm not even having own thing, anything, but I'm the backbone of the company. We had been in the system of this discrimination and in this system of unfair practices. A person comes, you teach him. You teach the person, and later they see you as nothing, as zero. The person came without an experience. You teach them. They know me as I'm sitting here. How many did I touch or I teached? Those are not on my skin, like me, who came in without nothing. They know nothing. They became rape, reps and they became supervisors on top of me or on top of others, of us. The 58 of us were actually selected out of the, 50, the, the 192 who went to the court. So we went to court. From court, they, they were no talks, there were no discussions anymore. We were just told on the 20th of, because they, we could have the 10th of December to have a result to give to the labor. But on the 20th or the 10th of the October, it, this could not happen anything until the 20th of October. That Friday of the 20th of October, it was a shock to all of us. So we were suspended like fools. Or we were suspended like you, are suspended. On what cost? On what, what, what basis? No, you attended court. On what? The stay away and what? But the story, they know about it. We have the documents that tells everything from July up to September itself. And we were just told that we were uh, suspended. On that day, on the 28th, how could Vuto manage in two hours, in two hours, to employ new people of 360? The lawyer that was with us at the labor, Tom Johan, or Johan Tom, the, 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 the prosecutor, or actually the, the lawyer of Vuto, was with us, and Anna Marie Creer, the, uh, the resources manager. We were all of us there. And Peter uh, Nonjebo, he was our representative consultant at that moment. We came to the suspension on the 20th. All right? They gave us a date that we have to start with the hearing at Escavier on the 30th. They, we did not conclude with the, the initiator was Mr. Peter 
the beer. A law, a lawmaker of this country, an advocate who knows law better than me sitting here, suffering. And he had to hear the both stories. Boatman was the chairperson to hear our, our fate on our side. Or he was chairing, chair, chairing the, Tom could not even answer on top of his head. It's what he said. The record is there at the labor. Today, I'm sitting here, suspended, dismissed because of attending court. Are you still fighting this case? Or? We fought this case. We paid the first Thomas, we paid him $1,000 each from the 58. And the $1,000 doesn't even work. He went to the, to the Ministry of Justice, legal aid. He got a lawyer. Thomas knows this. It's a union. Namibia Union and Retailers Workers Union and Manufacture. He knows very well, and he knows me very well. This all happened. But the first one, it could be Petrus Nonjebo, when we were at the, at, at the SKVA for suspension, for the hearing. We pay him $11,000. It's just underwater. Our person, before all of this come to this story, our own brother, our own brother, David Kautondokwa, hang himself, suicide. He hang himself. He's dead today. He's no longer there. He's no more living because of this, of suspension and being accused by the family that he may be stole from the company. It's why he's at home. Mr. Ian, wait, the finance manager that was that time at Vuto with us. He is the actually person that fired us, even on my certificate. If I will show you my certificate that I got from the company since I started 2001 to 2017. I don't have a record. We don't have, the record that we have is what I told you, as I said before. Mr. De Beer is a lawmaker of this country. Could even say it and say it, no, this is not a case to attend for our fate. So we don't have rights here in Namibia because the lawmakers, all of them, they are playing games. The 360, is a company that is now in Vuto as a, as a labor consultant company with their people. And, those, and that company belongs to them, the lawyers that was with us. The lawyers that were taken Vuto to, to, to the hearing with us as the employees. And we don't want to lose any more life because we had lost one and people are killing themselves because they don't have money. Johan Tom declined to comment on this. Marcus Evelinus represented some of the workers who took the company they worked for to the Labour Court with complaints about the manner in which they were treated and an extension of the agreed working hours. 58 members were suspended on the same day and he has vowed to give a voice to employees who are treated unfairly in the workplace. He lamented the process as he feels they were not treated justly. They punish us three times. First of, of all, they punish us the payment for that day the whole day of the 28th. It's on our, on our pay slip, deducted from us, because we did not go to work, but with some of us, we were at work. Even they can go to the, our, our, ten, our attendance register. We were at work. And then, on our leave days, that they pay us out, our leave days were divided on the 28th of, of December. The 8 was actually the date that they dismissed us, but we received our pay on the 28th of December. And the lawyer that all the, the arbitrator, Beata Monde, Beata Monde is an arbitrator, and she was there at the labor court. And even she said we have to be paid three months, 18 years working the years that I had worked there. Some of my, my colleagues who are at home today, they worked at Vuto since he was 22 years old. He worked 30 years. He's now 52. They are sitting at home without work. 
and we cannot get work as I'm sitting here. I cannot be employed. Why? They look for a code of contact from the police. I have to have a police clearance. We cannot be recruited by any, any company. If you go for an interview, they will ask you, what did you do? No. I, I, I actually was dismissed by Vuto. On what condition? Because I attended court. What? Attended court? And then they dismiss you? May, no, there may be something wrong. And we are still like me. I had been for four companies that supposed to employ me. But because of heading this uh, group, I cannot get any work. Because anywhere that I'm going, they will tell me, you are still in court. What court? Because whose court is it? The court had thrown the case from the Ministry of Justice. And we went back to the advocate, the director, Doringo. She told us that there's a moratorium put by the Minister of Justice, that there is no money, there is no finance. And this all hurt us. The case to go to court, you come back. The court cannot come to you. Had you ever seen a court coming to a premises of a company? In my life, in the public at large, they have to understand this. We are free with mouth. We are not free on the ground or on the lifestyle or either what we have to be in this country. We are being mistreated. We are being misled by those who, got to have, who have money. If you don't have any money in your pocket, you cannot afford a court, you cannot afford a lawyer, you cannot afford a consultant. All of them, we had did that. But what? With no avail. We are sitting with a zero. From my, my own pay slip, if I will show you now today, what happened to me and with my current group that I'm with, with them, you will cry. Because all of the things that they have had been confiscated. They had been taken. Louis took, took us to court, blacklisted, because I'm not no more paying, I'm not having, I don't have any finance that is coming in, in my house, or making a business. We have been followed every day to pay them back. Louis is blacklisted us. I don't know how many, because I have took the whole list to Ned Loan, to Louis, and told them, please, please wait until such day came so that we can be paid fairly. What we know, what we have to, 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 to say today is, they have to pay us what we had worked for. Our years, our severance package, our pension, and these three years, completely three years, three years, they have to pay us. If there's nobody in this country who cannot even listen to our story, or who cannot even come and tell us, or even come and approach us, we ask the public at large to be vigilant, to be vigilant with labor consultants who are in the companies. They are taking over as our grand grand fathers had suffered of contract workers. This is what's happening now. Because we have permanent workers. We were being permanent workers. If I'm telling you now today, it will be an amazing. The manager, the MD of that Vuto head now, he, will, he, he just asked me, for how long did you work for this company? I said, for 18 years. He said, so, so, so long. But him, who is coming from Botswana, Peter Peterson, he knows law. Botswana is more strictly than Namibia. But him, he never listened to us. He never seated with us as I'm sitting today here. He doesn't know me well. He just know me by passing. All of us, the 58, the merchandisers, the warehouse workers, all of us, the truck drivers, we are not, I'm not, I'm just representing them only. I'm also included in the case. The, we are 58, and in, in the 58, we lost three. 
The settlement package the aggrieved workers received amounted to 120,000 Namibian dollars for all of them, meaning that they got a settlement of a little over 2,000 Namibian dollars each. They gave us a a $120,000 to divide in ourselves and a proposal to the union that was with us. Thomas Namandungwe knows. The latest day, $120,000 for us to divide in the 58 people. A $2,070. A $2,070. If a person have really, they have to take you to a psychiatric hospital. Because you are not thinking of the other person's life. You are only thinking of your own life. As I'm sitting here, and those who are listening, and the crew here, we know this country, we have COVID-19. But COVID-19 was not in 2017, was not in 2019. It came in 2020 that we had experience of this. What we had worked for for Vuto, it have to be given to us fairly. No, where's Mr. Vuto himself? Is there Vuto? Mr. Vuto, I never saw him alive. No. The company have a name that Vuto, established Vuto, had passed on maybe in 20 or maybe 19... 47 or something like that far. But Vuto exists. <clears throat> now it's owned by the new boss. The owner that was with us since I started, I was with Mr. Comfort Senior. I have to rest in peace. He so it passed on 20, 2016. So he was my boss. He was like a father to me because it was a family company. And, and his son who's still now still alive who sold the share to the new boss. The new boss, I had been met him once when we were praying in the bathroom. It's the, say, the day that I saw him, this is the person. From there, I don't know. I don't, even if he will meet me or even hearing me now speaking, he will just say, that morning, I was the very person who was praying that morning with them all. Up to today. He don't know where we are now or what happened to us and how we are living in Vinduk. Some of us having six kids, 12 kids, school kids, university students, we have them. But Mr. Peter De Beer, as an advocate of this, of this country, he does not have a heart for this person that's speaking. If he could have a heart, he could even know my group. Even Tom, Johan, who have the 360 now working there at Vuto as a consultant, labor consultant, and he's Ben. They know what they had to do to us, what they did to us, because of the scheme or because of what? Because of we can just be dismissed because there's a lot of brothers and sisters who are in the streets who can be taken and been employed like nothing. It's exploitation. If you follow the law, or even the constitution of Namibia, what does it say to freedom, fundamental freedom? You cannot violate a person's rights. But in Vuto, we could not have rights. We were not compensated as we are now here, sitting here, the 58 of us. Well, I can mention the dead people also too, because they were also involved in the same dismissal. We were not compensated, we were not given any cent, we were just from our own, our own leave days that they pay us, they deduct all. They deduct our union fees, they deduct our social security fees, they deduct our loans from our, uh, from, from our, pay, our, our leave days. And they paid only for us, for our permanent, we were all permanent workers, none of us who had worked more, not less than four years. We were all working then more than that years. And can I ask, after 18 years, how much were you earning monthly? I was earning a 5,225. And that was only just as it is. I cannot lie. If my pay slip is there, that's what I was earning. I have to pay my house. I have to pay my water bills. I have to pay my 
loans out of that. After but years. after I reached out to managing director Pete Peterson at Vuto. The company is of the view that the below matter and related allegations from the dismissed, aggrieved employees were comprehensively addressed by a court of law and judgment was duly served, wherefore the below matter or any other allegations relating to the former employment relationship were concluded. The company categorically denies any wrongdoing as alleged by the employees and subsequently, in amplification of the favourable judgment, respectfully declined to further comment and or elaborate thereon.